Filming The Crown Season 6 was apparently a bit of a snooze. Ed McVeigh was thrilled to be cast as Prince William in the Netflix biopic drama, and even more excited he and in his on-screen Prince Harry, Luther Ford, would have the chance to work with legends like Dominic West, who stars as Prince Charles in the final episodes, which dropped on the streamer today. But McVeigh tells EW he learned more than he ever imagined from West during a particularly long shoot day. There was a time where they built this chairlift for skiing for episode 5, and me, Luther, and Dominic sat on this chairlift for about an hour and a half, just going back and forth doing the shot. They pulled the chairlift between these two cranes over and over. Dominic got a little tired, and he would fall asleep. McVeigh said while backstage at a recent advanced screening for fans put on by EW and Netflix at the Whitby Hotel in New York City. Not during the shot. Because he's a professional, the actor quickly clarified of the scene, which depicts a family vacation that, to the boy's chagrin, turns into yet another publicity shoot opportunity, but as soon as they said cut, he would close his eyes and go to sleep. And then we'd go back and reset the shot and they'd go, lights, camera. And he'd wake up like he was a trained animal. And then he'd do the shot and fall asleep again. I've got pictures of it. It was great. Fans at the NYC event were treated to an advanced screening of Season 6, Episode 7, Alma Mater, which follows William, Harry, and Kate Middleton, Meg Bellamy, as William and Kate begin their studies as St. Andrews. As the credits rolled, McVeigh, Ford, and Bellamy surprised the attendees, taking the stage for a Q&A panel discussion about their time on the series. During the conversation, Ford dissected a vulnerable moment for Harry at the end of Alma Mater in which the young prince reflects on being the black sheep in William's shadow. For me, at least, was about me and Ed working out how to portray these brothers and create a kind of nuanced relationship rather than something that feels very black and white. But I think the thing of being a black sheep, I could very easily relate to it, relating to the sense of being a part of the crown, said Ford, in terms of feeling an outsider, because even though I had some experience before, when you go onto the set and you're working with these actors, you don't feel like you fit in immediately because it's some of the best British actors there are. So I guess I kind of leaned into that feeling of sitting on the outside and just watching them. That was very useful for me. Bellamy felt the pressure as well, sharing tense scenes with House of the Dragon actress Eve Best, who appears in The Crown as Kate's mother, Carol. She's amazing and so nurturing that from day one we had rehearsal and she was like, my daughter and gave me a big hug, said Bellamy. She's great and such an incredible energy to be around on set as well. I really distinctively remember thinking, not only is she great as a scene partner and to act with and is so kind of giving in that sense, but off set she's very calm and very relaxed and it's infectious, that calmness. And that's something I think is probably quite important when you're on a show like this and you're probably feeling the pressure or the nerves.